Friends, 130 days of war and Lysychansk has finally come under the control of Russia, LPR and Chechen army. Except few focal resistance, Ukraine though claims that the resistance is still on, but advisor to President Zelensky says that it may fall any day. And he further says that after taking over Lysychansk, Russian military has major task ahead of them as six major cities in industrialized Donbass region exists whose resistance will be many fold more than the previously known because of the western arms and ammunition coming to them and the, now the war will be direct from the front not from the side or echelons. British intelligence, I would say Elias, Ukrainian spokesperson say that Russian forces achieve, achieve minor advances. Well, that's their way of portraying or rather accepting the defeat. We know, yes, I agree that some resistance exists in mostly southeast east outskirts of Lysychansk. Next line of defense which Russians would have to face is Slavyansk, Atimosk, Kramotosk, Druzhkovka, Konstantinovka and Advivka. Avdivka. News related to the war but not from the ground itself. The British and Moroccan mercenaries who have been sentenced to death by the Supreme Court of DPR have appealed against the death sentence. Some explosions have been reported in Bulogorod, the Russian territory. The details are yet to follow. There have been demonstration in Berlin and the people have been demanding their government that do not interfere in the war. More important from the Belarus President Lukashenko who has claimed that there have been missiles fired from the Kiev side and his military has shot them down and also has warned that such provocation will lead to quick reaction. Why should Ukraine be interested in provoking Belarus has to be thought of. Do they want the NATO to come in in case Belarus attacks Ukraine? Rest of Ukraine we know massive amount of western weapons are pouring in Ukraine and massive amount of shelling counter offensive continuing from the Russian military against such Ukrainian targets. Ukrainian defense post Lysychansk is very clear and they will continue as we have talked earlier offensive defense and defensive offense. Thank you friends keep watching see you tomorrow almost on the same time.